want to do what we want to talk about uh, what we want to talk about in, in today's session is what are you uh, did you what what stood out for you in last week's assignment okay and what are you looking forward to doing this week if you've not been able to read out what uh, the the what you're supposed to be doing the week has already been up Okay, and I hope you check your classroom often, okay? So, what stood out for you in the process of doing the assignment and what are you looking forward to this week? That's a prompt that we'll be having and then uh, we'll, we'll go that way. If anything comes up, we'll address it as it comes. So, um, I'm going to start with Elizabeth. Elizabeth Nanjala, please uh, start us off. Elizabeth? Good morning, Elizabeth. Um, so for last week, um, though the challenge was indeed challenging, mm -hmm. I liked that um, I experienced growth through, mm -hmm. through having to learn new things, collaborating with others, um, really huge for me. Mm -hmm. And what I'm looking forward to this week is mm -hmm working in assigned groups. Um, mm -hmm. I've seen in the challenge working in groups, they will submit um, assignments individually. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So that's, uh, pick someone to go next. Um, I pick Desmond Onam. Thank you, good morning, can you hear me? If you can speak up, Desmond, you sound like you're a little bit far away. Uh, good morning, can you hear me? Now? Desmond, are you here? Uh, you could be a bit louder, but we could uh, we could work with it. If you can be a bit louder, that would be wonderful. Okay, uh, thank you. So um, what stood for me last week is that um, I learned that uh, I need to start uh, managing it from uh, Monday because I really had a lot to do come Thursday and Friday uh, because uh, some of the work had piled up and um, I believe that this week I am planning that right from uh, Monday I will be able to uh, start from the beginning and work even extra. Yeah, so maybe I could pick someone to go next. Um, uh, Christian Zano. Yes, uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Christian. Yes, good morning. Can you hear me? Very well, Christian. Go on. Okay. Uh, last week was also for me a big challenge. A big challenge because uh, I'm I'm still learning Python and all all things in Python was very new for me. I was very I, I like I said last time I'm working with R, but in Python everything is like you are you are you are, you are, you are, you are writing code by scratch <laughs> and you have to know everything you are putting. In the, in, the, in, the, in the center. So it was, uh, how can I say? I cannot say that it was hard, but it was also amazing to do that. And I believe that before the end of this week, I will submit all the tasks in week one and all the tasks in week zero also. And, I, and I'm happy also to work with group. And I think that is all. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> And I choose, I think, uh, Kate Njoki. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> um, for me, last week, the first few days weren't as bad. But then by the time Thursday was reaching, I think task three and four were a bit 
intense and there's a lot of learning that I had to do in a short time. So by the time I was to submit my work, it was too late for me to finish the whole of task four. So for me, the challenge for this week would be learning how to properly manage my time so that I can be able to finish um, and submit the work on time. So yeah. And also uh, last week I was able to collaborate with a couple of fellow trainees, which really made my work easier. So, yeah, that's my update. Thank you, Kate. Before you choose someone, Arun, uh, uh, I think that is raised your hand. It is me. Uh, no, I, I just wanted to, to reply to Christian because I, I, I've heard that he's more working to submit for the last weeks and week zero. And I think, you know, it is not necessary. You won't have time unless, you know, it, it, so there's no point in going doing that right now because it's intensive already what's, what you're going to have in every week. So I would say just try to submit properly the week submissions and work on them um, and show us because I think that is more important at this point than trying to go back and trying to redo all the others because there isn't enough time. Uh, if you are to do it well, I think I don't think you, ha you will have time to work the other weeks. So just focus on, on the week and try to submit a good work for that week or for this week. Thank you, okay. yeah, but you'll... Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, can I go yeah, on? Me? Okay, go on, Christian. Yes. Then you uh, choose uh, okay, I want to thanks also, sir. Yes, uh, what, what you're saying is very right. I, I will focus on the, the challenge of this week. And maybe also, uh, if I got it on time, I, I will try to, to, to work out again in week one, because in week one, I think that I learned a lot of things by in, in data managing. So thank you. Uh, choose someone, Christian. Uh, okay, I think that I will choose. Uh, let me see the list. Uh, I will choose uh, Bereke Kibro. Bereke Kibro. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, one of the things that stood out in the last week uh, was like uh, I was working on uh, the technical part, like uh, writing the chapter notebooks and achieving the tasks that I was given. And uh, I was trying to write the reports date, like uh, when, it's, when it's one hour meaning for the final submission like that and I was not uh, writing a good report so one of the things that I learned is like when I just finished some of the tasks I should have uh, write the report with it and go on to uh, the next task uh, together so I, I would generate a good report that uh, the last week was so much difficult for me because I start writing the report at the last when I finished just uh, the technical parts so this is the thing, one of the things that stood out for me. Then in this week, I'm looking forward to work in teams. Uh, I've been communicating with one of them, my team, like Nebu, uh, for uh, today's task. Uh, that's that we are going to work on. And I'm looking forward to work with all of them, my team members, and generate a report and uh, work on the tasks that I was given. Thank you. Thank you, Barakat. Choose someone. Uh, let me see. Uh, Boris. I choose Boris. Okay, thank you, Barakat, for choosing me. Good morning, all of you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Boris. Good morning. Good morning. For me, the last week was quite tough. I didn't, I didn't know how to manage my time. The thing I, I found is if you've got a, a deadline from you guys, like you, you, you gave us the interim submission that was on Wednesday. For me, what I did, I followed your deadline without planning my own. I was supposed to submit on Wednesday the task one. 
So that's what I did in all the three days, without committing to to doing the the other tasks. So I think problem. I think the problem will be time management for us to to sit and plan the whole week. The other thing is, how do other guys, how do other guys manage to 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 write code from scratch? Do they or do they do so or they have somewhere to that they copy the algorithms and then put in their code? I don't know. Someone to go on and tell me a suggestion. Thank you, Boris. Arun, you want to say something? <clears throat> no, it's not me. I don't know if you have a Bella Abubakar. You want to say something around reuse of code? Uh, I think I would say it's good. It's a good uh, question that you posed, um, Boris. And I think it would be good for actually for you guys to just have your own discussion. I mean, in a sense that it could be even here or it could be a separate one after this. That's a nice one. Like, you know, how do we handle, like, as a community, there are some people who just finish quickly and others who are slightly slow, and it would be great. I can tell you mine, but it doesn't help, right? Because when you have with experience comes a lot of things that you don't have. So what is really great would be to have actually this question discussed among you on, on you know, just set up a call and say, like, who wants to discuss on this area? Like, some people want to know like uh, because python is actually a lot of the time is a package that you, know, you have some some package that does that and it's about knowing and finding it um, and usually and then of course the definitions and uh, functions whatever becomes like second and after you write so if someone has been working in python for a while i think i don't think googling will take you longer than probably writing it so but again it's a matter of how long you have been writing the code um, so, but it would be great. I think this is a very good discussion that you guys could could have. Um, so someone, maybe you could just have a session saying like, you know, let's discuss about how within our community, how people code and exchange experience. Just, just to add one very thing very briefly to that. So it should be clear to everyone, anyone is free to schedule a meeting. Anyone is free to send a note on Rocket Chat and say, yeah. hello, I want to hold a tutorial, or who wants to join me, or I have a question. You don't need to ask us for permission to meet your fellow class, your fellow trainees. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for that. And and perhaps as a, as a way to, you know, to just give you a bit perspective as you are planning your other meet, Anyone who you can just give us one brief statement. Anyone who speaks now after after Boris, just say I get my code from X. Then you can just as a very brief prompt. Then all of you guys know. Oh, okay. X number of people get their code from here, start from scratch or whatever. And then perhaps it could also help with that conversation. But Boris, I know that you can't be the only one facing the challenge of wondering how everyone else is able to hack it, and you feel like. What is wrong with me? So it's an important conversation you've started and, and I think it's an important one to have. So why don't you pick someone? Okay. I pick Bez. Mm -hmm. Bez Awitalem. Mm -hmm. Bez Awitalem? Good morning. Guys. Good morning. Sorry, I joined late. Uh, what was the question? I just uh, joined. First, okay. First of all, you will tell us where you usually get your code. And then you will tell us uh, how was last week's assignment for you and what you're looking forward to this week. Mm -hmm. So um, last week's assignment was uh, uh, a bit uh, rough for me because I did uh, the, the Git thing uh, until the last one, but uh, the dashboard and the report was a messy. I wasn't satisfied with it and I submitted late. Um, uh, Boris asking about the codes and how I cope up with it. Um, I search for specific codes and even uh, go and search on GitHub with uh, uh, with the colleagues, anyone who's working on the same project, and I will try to make my my own with the 
comparing and trying to uh, make sense of it and trying and trying it over and over again. That's how I do it. Thank you. Thank you, Beza. Pick someone. Mm -hmm. uh, I pick uh, Bahagu. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Behigo. So about my tasks, uh, it was uh, challenging as of for everyone, and I've tried to do my best. And there are some things that I, some subtasks I skipped because I really can't figure out them. And there are tasks I did very well, and there are uh, topics or points I knew for the first time, and I'm confident that I can explain or teach some other new or some other people anyway so that was all about the last week but i was expecting that you would give us uh, the solution or the best solution of this task i was expecting that so finally you have submitted this you've tried your best now let us show you how it's done appropriately so that uh, we can learn how it's done appropriately at the end of the day you know, I was expecting that, and I'm still uh, eager to hear your response for this. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Babel, go on. It's, it, it's uh, you know, the one thing, that, one thing you have to take out of your mind is that this is not teaching. There is no best solution. There is only, like, whatever you can do solution. And so in a way that in a job, we, we definitely give you feedback for that, right? That we think that this is good. Like if we are, because we treat ourselves mostly as employers or part of the client and we see if the, if the solution you provided is sufficient for us. If it's sufficient, then we say, great. If not, we just tell you, nah, you could do better. So that's because that's the only way that you would get feedback in a real job. Um, and we don't try to compete with you. Like the teaching is more like bringing a question that we know and we simulate and we have the answer. That would, but that's, you know, that's not gonna be useful. That will not prepare you for a job, at least for the type of thinking we have and framework we have. So I think the feedback tells you that, you know, where, where you are, but um, yeah, the solutions, in the sense that you say, it, it only happens if you are if you are tested with a known solution, and but we do give you feedback in terms of, you know, if you look at the rubrics, the rubrics, we, we kind of put them in such a way that that's how we evaluate you. So if you in that rubrics if you get good, that means you really did great. In that rubrics, if you did, you know, not that good, then that means you you didn't do that good. So that that tells you a more detailed uh, kind of feedback. Um, as well as we might sometimes write to you in that in the Google Classroom, uh, whatever we feel. Can I give a can I give an analogy? Um, so the analogy that I, I was smiling because I once the question was asked, I was waiting for Yabubel to come in, and I, I I've known him long enough that I I could have given his answer because I've heard him say it, and he's absolutely right. I think. Um, the analogy that we always say is that even with our project here, it's like we're walking from uh, Germany to Ethiopia. And there are many different ways to do it. And if somebody said, what's the, uh, what's the optimal way to do it? How do you organize things? There are an infinite way, number of ways to do it. And if we provide a solution, then that's somehow saying that is the right way to do it, when there is no right way. And I think that's very true in the world of work. You will submit something and you will, if you expect your manager to correct it and give you the right solution, I think you're in for a surprise. There are expectations and we can, we will give you feedback on to what extent did you meet those expectations, but there is no one single right or wrong answer, according to us. Mm -hmm. And even there is a surprise. And, uh, we are looking for a surprise sometimes, like you do better than we expect even the things that we would have expected so okay i and think it's my turn no huh? go on cindy um i was just saying elizabeth i think what arun and yababel have said have probably also answered your question as well behiko did you want to say something 
Yeah, I was the last person to speak, and I think I, I am supposed to choose uh, the next yeah. speaker. Please do. So uh, I choose Mizan Abaino here. Mm, okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Please proceed. Uh, okay, uh, last week uh, challenge was a bit uh, mm, challenging for me, uh, especially when I came to the task four, uh, like using uh, clustering algorithm and others. Uh, that was a bit challenging, uh, and I, I didn't know uh, how how can I interpret uh, the question in order to, to write the report. So I, I really faced uh, many problems when. Uh, I, I'm trying to do the, the report session especially. Uh, the other was good. So my experience is, uh, it's uh, generally it's good for me. And uh, thank you. OK, you've not talked about your code. Where do you get it? And then you need to pick someone else. Uh, mo most of, uh, mostly by Googling and uh, sharing with my team, uh, <clears throat> uh, my friends like Bahagu, uh, Nathaniel Toshoma, uh, they helped me a lot. So in this way, uh, I done my assignment. Ah, okay. Thank you for letting us know. Pick someone. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I pick Nathaniel Sisai. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you not now. Hello? No, no. Yes, go on. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, last week was uh, tough for me. When I see it overall, it was very tough until uh, the peer meeting uh, happened because it helped me a lot. Yeah. Like, a very lot. Uh, at first, since starting from Monday, I was struggling even to understand the questions or what the intent of the question were. So uh, um, my first problem was what not focusing on the resources that were given. Like for example, there was a data cleaning notebook shared with us. I just skimmed it and thought I understood it. So most of the things were listed in there were useful. So after discussing and having a peer meeting with uh, Elizabeth, I couldn't thank her enough. And I haven't even mentioned a nice thing about her in the peer review I have submitted. So after maybe Thursday, I could say after Thursday, uh, I know how to do things and what I should do and everything. So after that, I was in a good pace, but uh, the deadline came in. I submitted some of it, or what I could have achieved or worked on. And I have a clear understanding on what to do or why were things done that way and everything. So it was nice uh, having a peer review. It helped mm -hmm. me a lot. Yeah. Uh, where do you get your code? No, OK, the code mostly. Uh, I copy the question text and paste it on Google and see what it means. And after that, uh, check it on how to make it on Pandas. Then it showed me a result, mainly a Stack Overflow or a blog post or something. Then copy paste that code, uh, rename the variables and everything, then work on them. Also ask for help from uh, my other friends like Joseph Walku uh, and Milky, they helped me also. So it was like that. Okay. Thank mm. you for letting us know. Uh, we need, we can talk to two more people. Okay, so let me go next. Okay. Uh, uh, right. Is Milky here? Milky Bakal? Uh, Milky is probably here, but Michael has raised their hand. Michael? Michael, you'll go then Milky will finish it out. Michael, are you referring to me? Yes. Same. Oh, it's yeah. same. Same. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, the past week was probably the most stressful week I've ever had, to be honest. Uh, usually, 
I'm good with managing work and even with a large workload, it's okay for me. But last week was hard because I did not know how the actual volume of work because I've never had to deal with the work itself. So it was hard for me to manage. And you can't even take breaks or decompress because you don't know how much time the future work is going to take. And so how to prepare for that and how to handle it. So it was really hard to sleep or take breaks or to sit down and try and figure out everything. Um, most of my submissions were on time, but I don't think I did a good job. And I feel like it, it's hard that so much effort into it and you didn't feel like you did the best job you could. And mm -hmm. that's how the week has felt for me. Um, and I don't know if this week is going to be better. I hope it is. Mm -hmm because maybe I've ha learned a bit of how the work is going to be, but I don't know how we're going to work in teams. Is it individually work or is it like the peer mentorship thing? Mm -hmm. I hope to get clarification on that as well. Thank you. Um, okay. Should I pick anybody else or is uh, Milky going to go next? We're out of time, but we want to hear from Milky because it's chosen. Uh, and then I'll address some of the things that you've raised. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Milky, are you here? Uh, yes, I'm here. Good morning to you all. Okay. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, last week was really stressful uh, for me. I was trying to my best to uh, do the tasks well, but. Uh, it was so hard. It's the same goes for me as uh, what same said, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, <laughs> like it was really hard to do everything uh, on time. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, the places that I got for my code from was like uh, Stack Overflow, and there are some good resources on uh, Real Python uh, if you know the website realpython.org, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really hope to, uh, if we get some more time when we do such uh, big, big tasks, you know, if we can get a, a little bit of time, a little bit more time when we do mm -hmm. such kind of tasks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a little bit more help as well. Okay. Where do you get your code, Milky? Like I said, from realpython.org and uh, uh, Stack Overflow, okay. most of it. If okay. I had uh, if I had some uh, problems or uh, face some challenge, uh, Stack Overflow uh, most of the time have uh, mm -hmm. the, the answers for the question. Okay. And uh, I, I had a I had a question as well. Uh, oh. Tomorrow is a holiday for some of us, and uh, uh, I wanted to know if if we will be having classes or not. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Arun has typed in the chat box. We'll come back to you. Uh, regarding it, and you'll post it on Rocket Chat. Okay. 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 Thank you. Have Thank a you. Good day. Okay, and you as well. Jakinda, you've raised your hand. We are over. Uh, yeah, I've raised my hand. No, uh, it's just a, a, a slide note. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been listening to where people are getting their codes. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I will advise. Uh, we have been reading some medium medium articles and blogs, and. Uh, blogs from uh towards data science yeah so if you understand uh, a topic that you're looking for let's say for a project you're doing last week you're doing customer segmentation mm -hmm. so if you go and read about it uh, they can they explain what it is and uh, how you can do it on a minimum on uh on the basic or even on a technical point so when you go into the project you have a, a rough idea of what you're doing and how what is flowing so you kind of know so you get some code snippets and also some explanation to it so people can also check that out wow. that is very helpful thank you so much for that jakinda absolutely uh yeah tiana if you're here would you like to say something yati good morning everyone good morning yatina 
So we've noticed that people seem to be stressed about time management, submitting codes and everything. But as Cindy has always said, this is not a sprint, but it's a marathon, okay? So let's all just take in a deep breath, do what we know we can do, and we try to submit because we really are preparing you for the world of work and honestly the clock never stops it never stops you just have to find a way to manage it this is week two i'm sure you're going to manage it better this week than you did week one definitely you managed it better than week zero so week three is going to be better than week two and week one so the more you do it, it's um, an iterative process. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it, okay? So there's so much for you to learn. So don't be worried right now. Don't be too stressed. Um, as Aaron has said, you can just send in um, a link for a Google Meet. Probably there are others who can manage their time better. So you learn from them. Probably there are things that you overthink and then you've wasted two, three hours just overthinking what am I supposed to do. Instead of doing that, actually do something so that you move forward, okay? Because as we've said, we're not really looking for perfection, but you need to get the work done. So don't stress that, oh, I don't know, this rubric, I don't understand this portion, and then you spend the entire day stressing yourself about not understanding it. And then there are other things you actually know how to do, but you haven't done them yet because you're still stressing about this one particular thing that you don't know how to do yet. So you can just put a pause on it and do what you know. And then at the end of the day, when you have more time, you check out and then you see, okay, I can do it this way. It might not be perfect. It might not be right, but then I am going to submit something because the aim you should get is I really need to do everything. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. So don't stress yourself. We're going to, we're going to try to distress today at 12 p.m. UTC. So I hope to see everyone there. We're going to try to distress, okay? So make it a point of duty. Never miss the community building exercise because you never know what tip or what trick you might get from it, okay? So have a good one, everyone. A good day, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely. And thank you so much for that, Yatiana. Clearly, this is something that was very needed. Mubarak says that he overthinks stuff and waste time, like you mentioned. So, uh, Paul C., also good to have you here as usual. I sent a number of people your way last week. Thank you for offering assistance. So, uh, Lee, you want to say something? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today in today's session. We will see you on Rocket Chat and uh, let's get this week rolling and uh, see you soon. Okay, 10 Academy has raised a hand. That must Just be. because there are a couple of questions <laughs> that was raised and that was not answered. So that means we will answer them in the, when you explain them. So in terms of like explanation about the team um, and all that that was raised, we will discuss them when we describe the project. Okay. Thank you for that, Yabibel. Yeah, Absolutely. And Christian, I'll be checking my email ASAP. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead. Bye.